Hi, this is Russ. I'm with DevotedGolfer.tv, and I'm here with Jason Bustamante. Absolutely. Jason is with Pure Grips. Pure Grips. And Pure Grips is Phoenix based. And my first encounter with blowing on grips sure. was through Pure Grips. And, and this is the nozzle. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's actually a, this uh, plastic piece we actually patent pended. So it's uh, something that we designed. Right. It's got uh, a little plastic piece inside that actually fits into the end of the grip. Right. So that's key okay. to it. Yeah, yeah. And so tell me a little about Pure Grips. I understand there's some new compounds this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. So really, Pure Grips started six years ago. So mm -hmm. we're six year at the show this year. Okay. Uh, really exciting for us is we've been working on our compound nonstop, uh, mm -hmm. taking in our customer feedback. Right. Uh, the one down play on our grips was, you know, when, when they get hot, sweaty, uh, the grip gets slick. So we came out and uh, came out with a compound this year called Pure Tac. Okay. And that compound is built for humidity. It's yeah. built for more of a rainy condition. And as you know, there's no grip that's going to be perfect in rainy condition. Right. But right. this is a lot better. Okay. And that's just, you know, putting more rubber in the grip helps quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It makes it last. It speaks, uh, you know, very good durability, 12 month okay. guarantee. Yeah. So. So when we talk about rubber, we can talk about tread patterns, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is a traditional. Tour wrap style grip. Absolutely, that's our P2 wrap. Yeah, and uh, you know, very similar to, to a grip you've probably seen before. Oh yeah. Um, this one uh, has the Pure Talk compound, which is you know a lot of rubber in it, and that's mm -hmm. huge. That's what's uh, you know really makes it durable. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I like to use these if somebody is maybe a little arthritic. Absolutely, and, like and that, that yeah. grip comes in a mid size, which is you know huge for the arthritic. Uh, yeah, you know, golfer. Yeah. How many colors can I get this in? Seven. Seven colors. Seven colors. So yeah. we actually have some limited edition stuff, which this neon yellow would be a limited edition color that we offer that, you know, from, you okay. know, different parts, different times of the year. Yeah. And so this is the next tread pattern. This is a traditional, that, what do we call this kind of pattern? That's a, well, it's a pure pro, but you guys probably would call it a tour velvet okay. if, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. I was comparing it to something. Right. So best, that's our best seller by far. Is it? Yeah. And, you know, I think it's uh, probably because most demo matrixes have a, a tour velvet style of grip on it. Right. So the average golfer is familiar with that. And then there's a third <laughs> tread pattern. Absolutely. This is new. So this is, this is new, isn't it? It's fairly new. It actually came out a little over a year ago. Okay. And the design behind that is we didn't have anything for a chord player. Mm -hmm. And your better, a lot of your better players are into a harder, firmer chord, chord grip, right? And, and, and a little traction. Too. A little traction. Yeah, yeah. So that's really what that is. Because of our 12 month guarantee, we really couldn't put a chord in it. Okay. Um, when you put a cord in it, it's absorbing water, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you're absorbing moisture, you're drying out the grip, it has to dry. So really? that in yeah. that, you're really, your durability is going away. Mm -hmm. So those cord players, a lot of them are scraping it with a knife to bring back the cords and get traction again. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we, uh, we're all about a quality grip, 12 month guarantee. Yeah, you, so, you mentioned an interesting word there, durability. Durability. You know, I, I live in Texas and you're in Phoenix, so yeah. I assume that you are designed for the heat? Absolutely. These are tested every day in that uh, Phoenix heat. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. as you know, 120 in the summer isn't uh, unusual. They bake. <laughs> they bake, for sure. They bake in my yeah. trunk Yeah. And, and in the truck. And, and then, you know, they get a little discolored and they get slick sure. when they're baked. A absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, that's key is the, the compound that we designed yeah was made for you know high uh or uv resistant you know it's you know n i don't think you can make a grip that's perfect t towards uv but this is geared more to uv resistant grips are mm. sensitive to uv absolutely absolutely you'll you'll notice on the demo carts some of them uh, the grips discolor yeah. and that's uv that's actually doing that is it yeah, yeah. so heat has another uh you know impact on that but uv definitely so you've designed UV resistance. Sure, that's into that's built the into the compound. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's great. You know, I love blowing on grips, and I made a presentation <laughs> yesterday. Um, I have refitted my fitting carts. Sure. I cut all the grips off. Yeah. Right, and my fitting carts now have 
um, blown on grips. Sure. And so when you come into me for a fitting, if You're you are very tall, yep. or you have huge hands, yep. before I start to fit you, I'm going to size the clip to you. So sure. I'm going to blow off the grip, I'm going to put in an extender, tape it on, and then blow the right size grip on. Sure. And now I'm fitting you with the right size grip. Absolutely. And not so the wrong size grip. Tape, the tapeless installation, which you're talking about blowing on grips, has been huge for, for that kind of setup. And I mean, we're, we're very successful with with the you know the fitters that have the demo matrix yes. um you know nobody really talks about you know grip fitting and how, how you know how it affects the ball flight i mean I, I, you know i work with a former pga tour pro mm -hmm. and and he will pick a club up and he will tell me instantly that it's the wrong size grip for him and he's sure. going to leave everything to the right yeah and, and that's true. I mean, we do a lot with Hank Haney. Hank Haney's our spokesperson. Mm -hmm. So when you talk to him about grip size, you know, when he's working with somebody and they're hitting a slice to the right or missing it to the right, he's not going to give them a bigger grip. Right. That's only going to make you miss it further right. Yeah, yeah. And most people think they need a bigger grip. So that's, you know, yeah. uh, you know, a little bit about grip sizing and stuff like that people don't talk about. Right. Okay, Jason, how often do you recommend people change their grips? So we guarantee them for 12 months. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're, we're recommending that you change them at least once a season. Okay. Most grip manufacturers out there will put it on their website three to, every three to six months mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. So that could be two to three times a year. Mm -hmm. That's, that adds up uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it when does. it comes up to yeah. the end of the year. Yeah, so once a year. Now, I understand that you're getting a little better distribution now. Absolutely, yeah. So. We have a fairly new relationship with the PJ Superstore, mm -hmm. and we're growing with them. I have seven locations. Mm -hmm. I have two in Scottsdale. Okay. I have three in California, mm -hmm. the New Orlando store, mm -hmm. and the New South Lake store. South Lake, that's in yeah. like, my neighborhood. No, yeah, it's yeah. A, you know I need to get people in the store, but we're in it now. So. Yeah, yeah. So when I need a grip, I can just run over there and pick it up. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's great to hear. So. Yeah. And, and you mentioned Ping earlier. You're yeah, actually... yes. So Ping, we last year, you know, we've been working with them slowly and in, in talking about doing some work together. They're in our backyard. We're in we're in Mesa, suburb yeah. of Phoenix. Right. Um, so for a long time, we've talked about doing something. Last year, it came together in a small way, meaning they were relaunching a, gri a club made all in the USA, mm -hmm. and that was their relaunch of the I2 wedge. Okay. We were able to make a grip. To complete their idea of an all-made USA club, and how that was other, their wedge. How many other groups are made in the USA? None that really advertise it. So I would say we're the only one. There may be some other ones, but mm -hmm. I would say we're the only one. Okay. So if you want made in the USA, then it's pure. Pure grips. Yeah. So now your retail. I mean, I've always thought about pure grips as something often offered mostly by club fitters. Sure. So you, sure. So you finally made that transition from the. Yep. From that little market of club fitters that know about unique products out sure. into retail. Sure. Well, club fitters are huge for us and we need as many club fitters using our product as possible. Mm -hmm. So for that, we have a couple options. You know, our club fitters buy, some of them buy direct from us and mm -hmm. some of them are buying from distributors that we have across the U.S. as well as across the world. We just signed on last year a distributor for all of Europe. Oh, you did? And that's been huge. Yeah. Um, and then in the U.S., we deal with the, you know, a lot of the big guys. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So you know, it's very, very important for for a club fitter that the brand be known. Absolutely. Because you say to somebody, "Oh, I'm going to use a pure grip," and they go, "What?" So it's so you're getting better known now. How hey, has the company been growing? Absolutely, we grow every year. And yeah. you brought up a great point. When we first started, it was difficult to get brand awareness mm -hmm. and you know we had a younger tour player at the time Matt Jones playing our product mm -hmm. and it, it, wrong timing you know it's still it's still a new company it helped us out right um, after that we came to Hank Haney and he helped us out quite a bit you mm -hmm. know with that just the branding putting mm -hmm. uh, a name with the brand and uh, validation really um, this year we actually had a couple wins on tour from from tour players that we don't pay they they came to us they're playing our product because they think it's better than any other options out there. Mm -hmm. So very exciting. Um, well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks. Well, Jason, 
thanks for spending time with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. And Appreciate it. And if you're it. interested in Pure Grips, you can buy these from the PJ Tour Superstore, among the many places that it's available. Um, most of the club fitters are working with them. Absolutely. And are they available direct on the internet? They are. PureGrips.com. Okay. PureGrips.com, your local large retailer, or your custom club fitter. Thank you.